Okay, so we're going to go over in here to get the uh, great ghost glove wart at the Mogwin Palace place here. It uses the seal for river or she for river map. And from the grace that we get, the first grace, we're just going to go like this to it. Now, getting here doesn't take too long to get this actually at all. The video is so long because I added on to the end of if you don't know how to get over here to this place. Um, I've added that how to get over here to at the end of the video. Now that right there we're running past is a ghost eight there, so don't forget to grab that on your way over here. And we just ran past a ghost nine. I'll grab that here in a second. Now this is where the map will be, so grab that shiny there, and we'll have the map here for this place. Let's go grab that guy right now, the nine that's out here. Okay, now let's go get the great ghost glove wart. As long as you keep running and jumping, you should be okay here. And that's our clue right there. That's another Ghost 9. But right down there is what we're looking for right now. Great Ghost Club Ward. And now we just need to get out of here alive, right? Okay. Ooh! Another one. Okay, you can see the ghost. Okay. And that's it, basically. You're done. I'm going to run back in here and grab that other ghost here real quick. Just so I don't forget. But that's basically how you get here, or how you get... The great ghost glove out here at the uh, Mogwin da Dynasty Mausoleum place, or whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to show here, after this, we're going to show you how to get over here, because I always forget. Now I don't have internet for the PlayStation Plus thing, or whatever that I'm on, PS, whatever. So I can't play online. Apparently there's an easier, faster way to do this online, which I know about, but I can't do it. So I do it the long way, of course, which takes forever. So we're going to start over here. We need to get to the village of Albanarix or Albanarix, whatever. We need to get a medallion. So there's two pieces. That's because it's a secret medallion. And just like the Dectus lift and the other lifts, there's two pieces we got to collect. One of them's over here. And this guy who's hiding in a jar. He is a jar, I'm not sure. There's Nef Nefli or whatever right there. That's a cut to a different uh, time here, a different character. So we can show this. So you hit the jar, he shows up, talk to him until he gives you the medallion. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the cursemonger's hands. And then once we have it, we can leave here. But I finish his dialogue, of course, and go through it a bunch of times because he talks about a bunch of stuff. But it's like five minutes long. So the other half of the medallion is over here, the Castle Soul. It's a hard place to get to anyway, but then of course all the enemies in here are terrible and the boss is as well. So once you do defeat him and you take the grace from behind there, we'll go up and get the uh, other half of the medallion. It's the easiest thing at this place is getting the medallion after you defeat everybody. So we got that there. Now we need to go back to the Grand Lift of Rolled. in order to use this secret medallion. So now you've done this before when you got to that the mountaintop of the giants there. So at the very bottom you'll see it says switch action. You need to switch it so it says hoist secret medallion. Then you'll get a cut screen that I'm going to cut out here. So now we just need to run through this place. It's full of hidden walkways that you can't see 
There's a hidden boss. The boss is where you would have to defeat to get the grace in this place. And of course you got this silver uh, talisman beetle thing that you can raise your discovery in here. So make sure you come back and explore this place eventually. But the first thing I need to do when we get here is to get to the grace. And it's out here. So you can't see anything. Just run forward, compass north, roll over here, get to the sh look for the light spots. There's two right there, right there, and then the grace. Now I'm not going to show you how to get to the next grace because there's you can't see anything. So you're just going to have to keep clicking on your map, going back and forth, and then you can find the map as well doing that. But you'll probably die 50 times doing it because I usually do. But once you do get to this grace here, this is the path we need to take. So we need to get over to this section right here in order to get to the teleporter. Now running across here, you could pretty much do it in pretty much a straight line, but you're going to get invaded. So that's the first invasion. And so just get off torrent. It'll, it kicks you off anyway, so you just need to keep running for keep running, so it'll go away. Then we're getting another invasion once we get over here. Now the invasion that you get over here, you need to defeat them in order to open the portal. So you come over here and it's going to be closed, it's not going to be working. So you need to defeat this invasion here coming up in order to open it. And I like to stay over here on the edge. I almost rolled off because I want them to roll off. It usually works pretty good when I do this. See, I missed every sword swing there, I'm pretty sure. But they rolled off because they're a quick, fast opponent. And now it's open. But then you get all their stuff, and then you come over here. Let's go to a new location, and this will take us... Where is it? Mogwin Palace. Or however you pronounce it, because I never get anything right in this game. But you just have to come down here, and then we're going to wind up at the grace that we started all this at. And so this is a long way to do it. Of course, like I said, there's a shorter way if you have internet to go ahead and uh, research that if you try that. But that's it. We're done. So um, thanks for watching.